Well, hey, my friend, so glad that you are here with me on another edition of the Thriving Christian Artist Podcast. Super glad to have a friend of mine, Gabriel Stockton, here all the way from Southern California. Gabriel, welcome, man. Thank you, Matt, for having me. I'm just so delighted that you'd have me back on your podcast. I know, right? I'm so excited to just to continue to talk about the, the good things that are happening in your life and in all that. So for those folks who may not have heard of you before, give us the little thumbnail sketch of, of who you are, what you're doing, and then we'll kind of find out what's going on nowadays with you. Well, a um, little bit of praise report, you know, I'm just blessed by the best. Uh, God <laughs> has given me a, a wonderful town to live in where it's just beautiful and sunny here in San Diego, California. Uh, for some of you that don't know me, my name is Gabriel Stockton. I'm a plain air painter. I actually go out and my office is uh, somewhere different every day where I set up my easel. I'm either painting beaches or boats or bridges. Uh, and uh, I just love sharing just uh, watercolor. Uh, watercolor has been a huge part. Just recently, I became a Daniel Smith brand ambassador. Uh, which is uh, just mind blowing that that would even come about. I love that. I love that. You know, I I wanted to kind of talk to you today about as as you were just talking to that. The Lord just just said, asking this, learning to walk in the favor of God, because that is, I think, when I think about you, Gabriel, and when I think about the journey that we've had together over these last couple of years getting to know you in the mentoring program, getting to know you as a person, just seeing what God's doing in your life and all that kind of thing. It's like you have been just learning to surf, if you will, in the in the, in the the tidal wave of, of God's goodness and his favor. And talk about that and, and maybe what life was like a little bit before. And then as you started to, to get into this, because you're in a completely different realm now of... Uh, I, I like just the favor of God and and stepping into the good things that he's he's got for you, not just as a once in a while occurrence, but now it's becoming that thing that we talk about as, as thriving, just really, really getting to drink it in every day. So talk some about that, because that's that's, I think, just so valuable. Yeah, well, uh, that is a great question, because <laughs> I was tore up from the floor up and I was broke and busted. And uh, I didn't have anything nice to say. I had no praise reports, no heart of gratitude. And then uh, all of a sudden, I hit my rock bottom. And I had a wonderful opportunity. Uh, God brought me out to San Diego. I got to sit uh, at the feet of Jesus and start to work on getting these horrible calluses off of my heart mm. from horrible things that uh, I came against me and all these horrible stories and then i just remember like uh god will you give me somebody uh that i could know like and trust um <laughs> someone that can just bring me um to where you see me lord and i started seeing this word thrive everywhere i saw it on the ba paper bag that i bought with my groceries i saw it like on a, a door and i saw it on a a thing of clothing that I bought. And then I, I saw this Creative to Thrive group that was on Facebook. And so you uh, have this program where we first work on our, our heart and our mind. And if you don't get that in check, <laughs> you're yeah. going to be a wreck later. Yeah. Like uh, that is a part where God wants you to know his character he wants you to know that that those same beautiful things are also weaved into you spiritually before yeah. you were even formed in your mother's belly. And so uh, I was a, a very unhappy person. Uh, I wasn't creating art. And then God just started bringing these people. And it just around me that we're coming into a new season. And as I started to look around and I started to have a community of people that were caring and loving that would help me work through some pain, um, I started painting beautiful, beautiful pictures. And 
Uh, I couldn't get them home to frame them yet. They were already buying them off of the easel <laughs> and just having these little wins. And, and um, you know, when someone prays for you and says that you're going to have the double doors of open favor into your life and I impart into your life a beautiful way to look at this world and to see God's gorgeous beauty. And I started yeah. to look around and I started seeing these beautiful things of light. And I wanted to paint those because I, I knew something was coming, but I didn't know quite what it was. And as I joined the mentoring program, and then we went into COVID, it was like God just started putting, planted me. The germination started to happen in the ground. You know, the old Gabriel thought he was buried. And I had to learn that I was planted mm. to grow. And the beauty of it was then the feedback the feedback when you get prophetic word coming back from your people that are buying your work going right. oh my gosh you know and then people that are visiting people that collect your work they're texting you going i saw your beautiful work i want your work in my house to change mm. my atmosphere and that is just beautiful beautiful feedback so if you don't get your your mind and your heart uh, where it needs to be and all these wonderful great things start happening you know people start wanting you to be an ambassador you know and people want you to start you know doing workshops in front of all these people from all around the world on uh, these platforms now that are happening since uh, COVID we're in a digital age now not not we're not going out to all these places yeah, right we're right here and so yeah, like you've got to understand that everything must fall at the feet of the throne of God and God is for you. He's yeah. not against you. Yeah, that's so good. You know, talk about, because I know you and I know that you're not, as much as you are in the presence of God and and praying in the spirit and believing God and all that sort of thing, you're also getting up every day and doing the stuff. <laughs> paintbrush in hand, walking down the street, finding the next subject to paint, you know, all that sort of thing. So talk about in your life, this idea of, you know, and I, I know because, you know, you've been walking through all the stuff we teach about renewing your mind and all that, but there is this beautiful balance, right, that you're, that you're walking in. I just love to hear your thoughts on it of, yes, the favor of God, yes, the blessing of God, but also the tenacity and, and the grit that it takes and it's not all perfect and there's ups and downs and there's, you know, how are you, what are you building into your life, I guess, to make sure that that, that balance uh, or that tension is there where you're not up on your own and yet you're not just relying on God to, to do it all himself. Well, you got to get out there until you're guarded. You got to pull out the weeds. You got to replant every season. You've got to water it. You got to pray over your garden. You've yeah. got to just like speak life uh, that this would grow. No one wants to be around anyone that just keeps talking about how the snails got into their garden and ate <laughs> up all their tomatoes, right? We want to talk about things that are going to breathe life. Yeah. There is power in words. And in God's word, it says, you know, it's, it's a word that does not return in void. And I want to be able to speak life over myself. Yeah, I might paint a painting that is a lemon and I come home and I'm like, this is what happened, sweetheart. But, you know, tomorrow's a new day. And, you know, when you're out there doing plein air painting, you're dealing with different problem solvings. You're dealing with um, different types of, I mean, yeah, it's sunny, but it might be just a little more breezy or, or it might be just a you're in the sun or maybe you decide to get in a sh the shade. And so there's different variables. And I think just knowing that. So here's the thing, though. I have um, systems uh, in place. So you like got what? to you got to get up in the morning. I have my scripture of the day. I make my cup of coffee. 
I'd go for a walk, I'd grab a bottle of water, I'd go and walk, and I kind of just meditate as I'm just going out and praying, and just keeping my eyes and ears open for what God has lying for me next. I came home, I cooked breakfast for the girls, and I get my daughter off to school, off to middle school, and then I go about my day. And, uh, you know, just allowing yourself some days the Holy Spirit is strong and other days you are just going <laughs> and you're going to go set up and you're going to pick a place yeah. and paint. You just got to show up whether you feel it or not. Right. <laughs> I learned that with barbering when I used to be a barber, I, uh, you know, you just had to show up, sit in your barber chair until someone came in and wanted a haircut. You yeah. showed up. And I've taken those things and moved them over to where I'm uh, growing now in my art business. Yeah. And so the beautiful thing is like, you might get this beautiful prophetic word. Uh, last year I got the word aviation and uh, the God just opened new doors of going to these different airplane hangars and painting. And now I'm receiving awards for like, airplane paintings wow. i never thought that would be a thing so how you know for somebody out there and you know um because you've been in the mentoring program you know we got a lot of people that will follow us that are from a lot of different streams of the body of christ and that sort of thing so when we talk about just kind of freely hearing god's voice and god spoke to me and that sort of thing how did you first because i know that's that's not been your story your whole life you know how did you first, Gabriel, start to hear God's voice where you knew, like, he's saying, like, how did you know? I, I just want you to say it in your words. How did you know that he was saying aviation to you? How did you know that that was his voice as opposed to, that's just my idea, just something I, just a, a passing thing I heard. Like, how do you distinguish God's voice as he's leading you in your, in your business and in your creative flow? Well, it takes a little bit of homework getting yeah. to know the character of God. I know I serve a God of peace. He's called Jehovah Shalom. I, I have a God that has a love greater than any man or woman that could give me in this world. And that's called agape love. So uh, I know there's another enemy in this world that speaks things that don't bring life, that don't bring love, that brings uh, bitterness into my yeah. life. So um, if I'm hearing something um, that has clarity, that there's no confusion, um, if uh, I'm seeing things, because I also, I'm a seer and I see things, and um, if I have dreams that are in color, those are of God. If there's confusion or fuzziness, black or white, yeah. really it has nothing to do with God. So aviation like it seems like a word that would take me higher right it would just take me straight up to another level and so i tested it out you know it wasn't like you know go jump off a bridge and paint yeah. under the water gabriel it wasn't something like that it was like aviation and i had thought about when i first came to san diego i used to walk by this place uh on a little small airport so i was like let's just start there and see what happens and it was wonderful i set up i was talking to this guy and he said hey you're an artist and i said yes and he said uh you know um not too many artists come out here and he really didn't believe i was an artist and i said well you know i've done boats i've done bridges i've done beaches I'm thinking I want to paint planes, so can yeah. I take some pictures? And he said, no, not really, because these are very expensive planes, and they have these numbers. They're like a license plate. So um, there was another plane that was off to the side, and I did the painting of the plane. And then uh, it turned out pretty good. And I went back, and I showed the owner, and he's like, wow. <laughs> You really are an artist. You're an artist. You're pretty good. <laughs> you were only over there for like 45 minutes. He's like, go ahead and take all the photo reference pictures you want. Nice. So I went and took pictures. And uh, then I went back a couple days later. And they're like, oh, come on in. 
And I started just hanging out with them, getting to know them. And that tells me I have got favor yeah. in a new yeah. territory yeah. of town that I can grow. And that was the thing. I was I was willing to step out. I love it. Yeah, that's so good because you just follow you just follow the clues, right? Like, okay, if these doors keep opening, I'm gonna I'm submitting it to Jesus every day. Lord, I'm trusting that you're leading my step. I love that. I love that. So well, Gabriel, one of the things I love about you is that not only you're a great artist, you're a great teacher, you love to inspire others and equip others and that sort of thing. We are so excited to have you coming to Gathering of Artisans this year uh, to teach and to, to share all the things that you do, not only technically, but also hearing God in that in that process of, of painting and all that sort of thing. So talk about what you're going to be doing this year at Gathering, and because uh, I'm super excited you're going to be with us. I'm stoked that you invited me because I love teaching people. I love imparting uh, everything that I've learned. And I just think of it like a sponge. I just get to wring out all the knowledge onto other people. And I get to just set you uh, in a place where you get the activation going and stirring up. There's a gentleman here. He, uh, he just finished uh, the military. He wanted to learn watercolor. He prayed and asked. He said, Gabriel, I pray, God, that would give me a Christian man that knew watercolor. And he wow. found the old uh, interview that we did before. And yeah. I've been working with Adam <laughs> for about a year now. And he just now just had his single show. And oh uh, he's here also in the mentoring program as well. Isn't that something? And it's been just a joy to get out there and teach. Um, I was ex just ecstatic that you'd invite me because, uh, you know, I've been able to tweak and see what really works that I could teach in a short amount of time. So sure. what I got planned is for those of you that sign up, uh, you get to get one of my dot cards, my Daniel Smith dot cards. Love it. And uh, it's got 18 of the colors I use. So what we're going to do in the morning, we're going to get together inside of like a studio space. I'm going to get to go over some of the basics, the fundamentals. We're going to go have some lunch. And then when we come back from lunch, we're going to go out and actually paint outside. Love it. Love it. Love it. That's the beautiful thing about gathering. If you if you've never been to Gathering of Artisans before, guys, we've been doing this conference since 2010. It's four days. You're in the studio, but you're at, at night. You're worship and healing and just the presence of God, and you're with people the whole you know three and a half four days. It's just an incredible incredible time. And so you got time to do what you're talking about, Gabriel. Of not only learning fundamentals, but also doing this stuff. Actually being in the studio, which is which is just invaluable. And I think one of the things, you know, our students love is that they get, these are not 40 people in a class. This is 12, 13, 15 people max, you know, in a class that you really get individual attention with the teacher, which is, which is super special as well, isn't it? I'm excited because we're going to break down some of the lies that uh, people just take uh, on um, with watercolor, people say it's the hardest medium to use. They say that they had a teacher that wasn't very kind to them. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna just tear all that down, and we're just gonna water a seed that's just gonna nurture them. Uh, what I what I am hearing from people, they only have one paintbrush, mm. and I'm actually gonna show them that there's two paintbrushes that you have to have. And then we're actually going to, even though I have this 18 dot card, I'm actually going to show them what they could do with just six colors. Wow. And the simplicity. that right there is just going to be a game changer. Yeah. It's going to totally just, it's not even rebooting their computer. It's a whole new motherboard that's going to yeah. happen. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Well, guys, if you're wondering where to sign up, you can go to Gathering of Artisans dot com find out all the information about gabriel's class and all the other classes that we have and gabriel i know folks are going to want to continue to follow you on social and your website and all that so give them the information on that and uh we'll call this thing a wrap today 
You bet. Over on Instagram, you can find me at Gabriel Stockton Fine Art. And that's also my website, www.gabrielstocktonfineart. And if you're over on Instagram, just come on over and send me just a message over at Gabriel Stockton. I'd love to have you. Love to answer any questions on equipment for this event. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Gabriel, you're awesome. Just love what God's doing in you and through you and uh, how you continue just to to thrive and, and be all that God's called you to be. So thanks, buddy, for being on today. And uh, guys, go to Gabriel's Instagram, go to gatheringofartisans.com, find out about the conference, and I uh, hope to see you guys in August. Thank Gabriel for, for being on today, man.